Hello from Hello. London, where it's pretty much always from because I'm the one that does all the editing. But yeah. So uh, yes, hello to Once More with Feeling live review. It's like the third live review that me and Pierce have done, but the yeah. second video one that we've done. What's because these pictures here don't go to concert. Yeah. No. Uncultured pleb right from falling in. Yeah. But then again, we are all uncultured plebs because today we went a weird concept. <laughs> but before we get into uh, you two introduce yourselves. I think I have been on an episode before, or perhaps two. Before um, so. You've been on three episodes. Oh, right, you've been yeah. on two year-end wrap-ups. And Fair enough. Uh, yeah, well, I'm Ryan Richard, if any of you remember me, but maybe you will now. Improve it into your memory. The hideous beast of love. Hi, I'm Lauren. This is my first time doing a review, so please forgive me if I screw up. <laughs> oh. Be nice to our cat girl. Don't we know why she's a cat? She just don't like this. Because it has bells on it. Because we are all filthy degenerate weeaboos. Well, you're filthy degenerate weeaboos. I just allow myself to slip every single time. You dabble in your edge, you dabble in the in in the edge, but your toes are already corroding, (laughs) rotting. (laughs) I'd say the worms are are riding their way through, but if you've got whole rats crawling through your feet. That's for the worms. No, <laughs> the worms are for rats. We are the rats. Let's read on the Bob Cop cast. Bob Cop. Well, to be fair, there is actually a lot of uh, Ask Lovecraft video series that goes on. So I'll have to link it to you when I get home. We're going to do a non video video. <laughs> um. So yeah. To, the, the. <laughs> okay, we're doing it live. We're not worrying about plumbing online. So, so t- tonight we, well, tonight, this evening, this afternoon, it kind of crossed over about three different time spans. It it seems. Seems. It's entirely too late. Time yeah. delay. Um, but yes, today we saw Kiari Pamu Pamu. For the second time. Yeah. yeah. Um, in always. For me, at least, it was better than the first time round, but it's sort of like better set list, better venue, because the last venue was crap as all fuck. There was a lot of venues because you couldn't fucking get there due to the train stop, right? Yeah. I was going to say also, just generally, bigger set versus bigger venue. Yeah. Small <laughs> job. <laughs> mm. I mean, um, the venue this time round was at Coco, which. Um, I've only been to once uh, to see Paradise Lost, but it's a really good uh, venue just in terms of acoustics and. Oh, anyone knows where this character to come from, of course. That would be the weirdest cover ever. <laughs> Even weirder than the idea of her and Primus teaming up to cover Rocky Horror. No, no, I mean, Paradise Lost has covered, you know, everything but the girl, so they probably could cover Carrie. Lingo, lingo, words, words, anyway. Sorry. Sorry. That's an actual band. Yeah. Cultured swine. I, yes. <laughs> that, I'm by my own admission in cultured swine. Okay, we Feast on my corpse and suffer. <laughs> that world's wrong. Yes. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> so I feel more. <laughs> Squeaking in the dark, moist earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a name or just a book name or whatever. Sweeping in the Dark by Moist Earth, coming soon on their new album. The Rats and the Wolves. Anyway, uh, Moist Earth like a sequel to Moist Earth. A sequel? <laughs> well, Ice and Wolves, you know. It's the advantage of us being in the same room, I get to hit him. I'm just kind of making puns about band names. Yeah, really bad puns. What did I do? My entire purpose is to punch and Judy cast. <laughs> <laughs> where where everything is a contest. Everything, where everything ends with brutalities and, and <laughs> physical abuse. Nothing to punch my like feelings. Like what feelings? What is that? Uh, I developed it's, it's funny because I'm not going to We shouldn't cover anything <laughs> as much as I was tempted. <laughs> 
and he's going to flag this up when we didn't actually we didn't sing it very well. We didn't have a backing track and Oh, you change the key slide. Did you change the key slide? That's time to go get my flute now. Where's that flute? Nah, it would kill the mic if you did it. Orphan <laughs> relatives will fetch a good price for the organ salesman if you carry this on in. We are own for our own safety. Does that have like church organ tell them? Church organ tell Yeah, the people saw church organs. And do you know about my priceless church organ? Uh, I'm an organ donor. Oh, good to help someone. No, I'm a church organ. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you can use the way you are. You can put that on his body. Yes, you can. It's cool. Just like Pirates of the Caribbean, too. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did we do with our pot organ. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we could be a lot different if there was a trillion organs. Church organ. It's a whole new spin on the it's my job to steal and rob grain. I don't know how I even got into this tiny pipe. <laughs> <laughs> it's too crowded, I should have a bit can they often do this, not me. <laughs> well our dad and trumpets are and organs are considered. <laughs> it's a fine plus job. <laughs> Wait, how do I actually need church organs in their life, really? Well done. They're used for like you know, churches and like weird Gregorian music. Oh, man. Well, if, you're, if you're trying to do a, if you're trying to stage um, Phantom of the Opera, then mm. they're perfectly no, sure. Well, it could be used with no black metal bands like Litigate. Mm. Church organs are not necessarily even going to hand with churches. Like when I was... Um, well, yeah, the churches don't have hands, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. Church hands are a thing. <laughs> church hands and church one. The hand of the church. Shot of the god hand. Not the god hand, no! You're a fucking friend too! But yes, um... When I used to go... When I was a... When I was a... A wee tadpole, a tiddler. Um... I had not yet... I had not yet fully emerged from my embryo sack. I was taken to church on every weekend. Take me to church. And, um... Communion became very rapidly funny every week. Because, you know, it's meant to be a, you know, a very sacred moment where, you know, you, you, eat, you feast on Jesus' flesh. Like, does that, in, in the worst case of, in the worst case of reverse zombieism ever, ever known. This is, this is the setup of the band Necro Slapper, isn't it? And, um, and, and, the, and the guy who played the organ, the guy, the guy was very talented, he really could, he really didn't know his stuff. But his taste in music was terrible, and he used to play the same song over and over again. And, uh, you know, we'd all be going around and being like, Jesus, get to get us. And, <laughs> and, and, then, and then the music was playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a fairground. It sounded like a haunted fairground. <laughs> and you know, where you, you know, I can't express it to look up from my prayer and see like uh, like like uh, like a gaunt faced clown staring beady eyes down at me, grimacing through layers of caked on makeup. <laughs> well, just, uh, of course, if I was playing the organ. I would be playing mod entry of the gladiators. So it would just be did 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 Oh wait, no, shoot, scary clowns might actually be too on topic. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I segued myself onto, into accidentally rest. I didn't segue myself off with Cliff. No, no, don't try to twist us away from me. <laughs> and if you're doing twists, <laughs> there are a lot of twists in the dancing at the concert. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm about to say. It's just a delusional thing, hit on the head by someone's voice. Stop! Um, okay, so bringing it back round, bringing, bringing it back round, um, how do you <laughs> How do we... the round of <laughs> Sorry. Let's we, did, we are editing this out, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's... but bringing it background, how did you guys find it in comparison to the previous time? I agree, but the venue, the setup is pretty damn strong. I think, Lauren, you probably would have had, you had a lot of a better time with the most oh, yes. because for one thing you can actually see. Because it, it, it might not be that easy to tell. 
But Mario is actually tiny. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's got a very short back. Like, I'm just, oh, I'm, I'm not as tall as I might look because I've got an exceptional short torso. Yeah, also, I'm closer, yeah. Mm. But she's small. Yeah, no, Mario's Most of them had some guy with a gigantic bear hat in the way. Thanks a lot, bear guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, right in front of Lauren, but I'm sorry, Yeah. I, I want to say this much. If we find you, we will take your bear hat and burn it. That's not No, well, I'm sorry, if we Hold on, I don't think we're allowed to bring people on these games, probably. So, we'll just take a bear hat and we'll release it into the wild where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can never hurt you anyone. save the bears! Where it can't hurt anyone ever again. In Buckaroo, then? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Wait, I didn't say we burn it whilst it's on him. I just said we take it and we burn it. We take it and we burn it. We're living a long, happy life in the wild. I think and when it dies, we all give it a proper funeral. How does have human rights to it? Human rights? How does not even have animal rights? Do you know what Theresa May I would have had human rights anyway. Topical. So, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um, so, what else? Do Why is that all just thought? Where, where were we? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have a seizure if we can't if we carry on. Comparing Pretty a seizure with the real show, we had epilepsy, we're probably gonna have one. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Um, compared to the last one, I thought the outfits were even more fun. Mm. I, I thought the dances were very fun, uh, like, more so than the, and the, the audience inclusion, particularly. Like, um, the, there was a lot the first time around, last, well, well, for my first time around. But uh, I felt like um, maybe it was just that it was a bit a larger, stronger crowd. Or and I think partly um, Carrie herself sort of encouraged people to sort of join in with just uh, waving, you see, with a lot more jogging, and uh, she seems a lot more at ease. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's she's actually, she's a lot more confident. Like uh, like in the Carrie Carrie and song, I can't Carrie Ann, Carrie Ann, yeah, with his cute little dancing that we had. We have this and says. That uh, that's Carrie. Yeah, 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 it's like a dog. I see him. Although it always looks to me like some kind of eye stalks. Uh, so it looks like a cow skull no, with eye stalks. But it's more like a. It's more like goats. So like, yeah, metal as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Praise be to Satan. Hail Satan. Uh, but <laughs> to be fair, a lot of older people would probably think we're hailing Satan, even though there's. Literally nothing in these shows that that can be connected to Satan. So that's freaking cute, this girl. There's hundreds of people. There was loads people. of people there that I thought wouldn't be in places like that, though. Mm. Quite yeah, I've been to that last time, actually. Yeah, well, yeah, well to be it's fair, very mixed bag. To be fair, if you if you considered how, how I was when you first met me, would you really have expected me to be in such a place? Oh no, no, no. I mean like the businessmen. Yeah. There was a line there was of people, there was male and female, there was pretty good. There's like the, you know, could be out of rave in some of the nightclub downtown. Mm-hmm. I must say, sure, it's fair to say that businessmen are unexpected if you consider how, in <laughs> one of our year end, one of our year end uh, <laughs> uh, wrap ups, we talked about how uh, Pierce and I went to Japan, went to the S stage, and saw crowds of businessmen drunkenly flailing around in front of a small stage. <laughs> Populated by uh, singing teenage girls. Well, to be fair, those who have the businessman um, appearance, they probably literally come from work straight to the concert. Yeah, mm. the feeling of being dead inside and, re- and needing cute Japanese songstresses to come and like revive you. <laughs> it was the world. Mm. But. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I mean, it's it's magic. I mean, it's the, yeah, the bitch, what do you think? Like... <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's just a subliminal message. It's probably flashing lights. It just, it probably just has giant Eminem the eyes of flashing. That's what that intuition um, was all about, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's, that's exactly what I got in my head. I was just just having Eminem the eyes. Eminem the eyes. Well, intuition was pretty damn crazy, though. Yeah, well, and I'll just put it as an account of just doing instrumental crap that no one's ever going to hear again because he doesn't release that show. It sounded like Perturbator at points. It is. It was really weird. And the other thing is, the most of the stuff he does like this is actually really good. Yeah. Well, I said he just never released it because he seems to get it for his content. So you're probably about to get it on a live release, and that's the thing you're ever going to find it. Gakas. Oh, is that why some of them were remixed then? Yeah, quite a bit of the remix ones not released currently as well. Oh, I mean, so there are some remixes in the lot of singles. Quickly getting back to the, con- 
the costume and stuff. There was a sort of DJ guy in the back, and uh, and uh, I can't like. Okay, was he a the Grinch about having his head as heavy ending decided to have sex with a Christmas tree, or Kermit at the Pride Parade crashing accidentally crashing into a holly bush? <laughs> I'm still saying is this no a Bulbasaur could drink mixed with common rider. It's a rose. It was a rose. Stop taking things so literally, Lauren. It was a rose. <laughs> I, I think it was just a cacti that got bruised and rashes. <laughs> it started flowering unexpectedly. But God, Lars, he was amazing. Yeah, he was. break dancing and stuff. I, mean, I, just, really I think, I think it was Mars going to be mopped to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, secretly mopped to everywhere. <laughs> I'm rather okay with this. Oh, yeah, I get mopped mm. Yeah, it was a good set list. I mean... The fact she actually played Gary Annan is very good. Is mm. there isn't a was a second film? Was it um, I think it was second. Yeah, it's a second. But no one ever expected it to actually get played because you know it's kind of crazy. I think they played it last time, but it was almost yeah, years ago. I don't think they did. Mm, I because being released but... on the first album, which is album this tour was actually for, that makes sense to play. I mean, pretty much what they did, as far as I can tell, is they pretty much just played the whole album and a couple of extra singles as well. Well, thankfully, Gary Singh was a fan. It feels odd that, I don't know whether it's just me, but it feels odd to have a best art signal, a best art album already. I don't know why. It's just been around five years. Five years, I guess. In music, where music is concerned, five years is practically a lifetime. Oh, no, my mask is slipping. (laughs) (laughs) But when did she, how old was she when she started? She was She's like one, actually I think she's one year younger than me. Yeah, I think so. so. She's currently governing, she's currently 24, because she was that old. Did she have, I've been sworn that she had like a 20th anniversary birthday kind of thing, relatively recently. No! She was 19. She was 19. I'm pretty sure she was 19 when we were Well, do you remember, the thing about Bruce's Bruce Bruce edition awesome. got released when we went to Delhi University, and that was when she was celebrating that she was almost a drink, and you, the, what is the age of the fact I'm pretty sure is at least 20, is 20 right? Mm-hmm. So, if that was then, I would have been like one year older and then just a different person. Okay. Yeah. If we're all wrong, then go find it in the comments. <laughs> if there are any comments. I mean, description here. Yeah, I mean. Please, then, there are uh, sort of uh, thousands of rabbit carry fans all racing to tell me to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> we only the pure, only the best of YouTube commentary here. I was waiting for someone to screen cap one of my bad faces. <laughs> Just <laughs> meme it through the uh, entire thing. It doesn't it. become a meme if you will it to. The meme's Jack. <laughs> I actually said it should have been. Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, but the sound was pretty good, I thought. That, like, yeah, was, mm-hmm. was, well, I think it's the third concert I've ever been to. I'm like, yeah, it's Halloween mm-hmm. ringing up. It was impressive. Yeah. I mean, it's only been 20 later, but that's probably just because of the repeat experience of the boom, boom, boom. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I can sound like Parappa the Rapper right now with a boom, 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 and a bang, bang, bang. <laughs> but, uh, a wide one. Great, now I've got the Venga Boys in my head. Yeah, yeah. Parappa X Venga Boys. Oh, X crossover. <laughs> no, 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 as, as we were discussing the way over the concert, Kerry needs to cross over with the acrobats and do fashion zombies meets fashion monster. And I hope that is all. <laughs> Those dancers look like they were meant to be with the acrobats or something. They look just like they, like all the dancers this time, they, they were like they had like these sort of orange, pink, yellow, af, like not afro, sort of palmy wigs, didn't they? And they had these weird face masks. They were like, kind of like technicolor gimps. <laughs> no, it, well, it's sort of like very, very uh, stylized sort of domino masks. Yeah. I thought I thought that I could swan on that one. Nah. Because I could have it went up around the side of the head. It's kind of weird, isn't but it? But you know, it's hard to get a good look at them with yeah. the flashing lights. Yeah. Yeah. But then, to be honest, they're all fairly similar. They all had slight minor differences. Like, they had different, slightly different colour wigs. Like, one of them had more yellow. Like, more yellow. One of them had a mask that just went over there because I could see her singing along with them. Hmm. I don't want to watch the right one. Because I did say, because I made a set when I went up. Why are we discussing the final points of their outfits? We can do that later. Well, I mean, presumably, our girls want to know about the music, the music and stuff. Yeah. Well, not the final points of Gimpery. <laughs> Rimbacombe Gimpery. 
<laughs> the finer points of Gimfrey, a new book coming when I start up the Patreon. <laughs> coming when you start reading it. Was this a good idea having a live one? <laughs> yes. Well, I, well, we're not actually broadcasting live. Mm. Okay. Cool. I should probably actually lean back in the picture. Yeah. Mm. Do you know the government's watching this one? I'm not drunk or anything if I'm looking just very tired, it's just because I've been awake for like a long time. Anyway. I've got bonding time for now. Bonding time with you, man. No! That sounds like a very weird cookery show. Oh god, it does. I don't even want to know why. I've got a mistake in it. What are you talking about? I think it's a blue medley. Oh! Gimp can cook, but it can't eat. Probably what you with the mask. No, we can't go to Austin with the mask on. Why would you look at me? I'm throwing it down the window. So we had to bring friends. You don't get to come down with me. Why does this just make me think of Pink Guy? Oh god. Because they were dressed a little bit like pink guys. Oh, just a tad. <laughs> just a bit. Uh, it was very skin tight costumes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but, I mean, in terms of music, I mean, I mean, if people are interested, which I hope they are, that's kind of the aim of these shows to get people interested in the music. I mean, well, an important thing to know is now. Kerry is very much outside my particular realm of difficult listening to. <laughs> Just to say the least. These three, however. Hey, to be fair, I do listen to a lot of shit that you listen to. I know, but you also listen to a lot of idol shit. I am the one who listens to the shit here. Yeah. I mean, his current <laughs> resistance is just Denver and Eurobeat, which is pretty much the point. They stop carrying on his face with your bowler. Yeah, it's cool. It happens all the time. <laughs> but that's how much depressing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, yeah, but like, you know, Kerry, you know, I don't know, maybe I wasn't as developed on her that stuff, and I haven't been keeping up. I, well, I was worried I hadn't kept up with that stuff more, but when we mm. were going down, but it seems like not nearly as much has come out that I haven't. You know, I haven't really that's what I can tell. Since the last album that people were. Were you single? What's the best mm-hmm. one? Yeah. Well, that's that. I, I feel like we were informed on the kind of genres that make her yeah. up. Because, like, um, she's odd, because, like, a lot of her things, you know, she's meant to be sort of very trendy, isn't she? She's like Harajuku style, sort of, yeah. you know, very over the top fashions and stuff. But, like, when you look at her music, I mean, I don't know, it's, 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 it's a fusion of, like, really trendy stuff. Like, I don't know, I would have said houses are sort of an in. Kind of music? It's like, a, it, well, it's, it's sort of, wow. there's elements of house. Uh, and, well, yeah, it's, I just would have said that that was a very strong. The, 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 mm-hmm. the week has songs repeat and sort of loop. Yeah. yeah. As, as a very sort of housey technique. Well, well, I can't have to do it. Yeah. But on the, other hand, on the other hand, yeah, not in, a lot of those songs that have that sort of housey influence also have a strong tempo influence. And I've talked about this before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, know, yeah. When talking about tempo gooming. Uh, you know, sort of chiptune effects and um, lots of and sort of cutesy they sort of, sort of playing up the cute and sort of kind of digital kind of feel to of it. So sort of, uh, I feel I feel like it's a really kind of odd fusion because these are two. It's like these two sort of things. You know, they're great, but they're, because of the kind of circles that listen to these kind of things, they don't usually come into contact. Mm. It's probably why both groups into trouble. But also. Explains a bit like about Kiari's sort of fashion style as well. Like, I mean, she's sort of she's ridiculously trendy, but at the same time, it's such a patently absurd. Yeah, <laughs> eyeballs everywhere. Yeah, and well, I think one of her music videos, she's got a dress made of triangles. Yeah, yeah. that's what's the last one. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, it's it's very peculiar because it's sort of it's kind of drawing influences from as many spheres as possible mm. because. You don't just have the sort of house and 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 dem, dem sort yeah. of elements. You've also got 
every so often they're sort of slight rock elements and standard genres, but they're also influenced by its very bubblegum poppy style. Yeah. When it, well, when you say bubblegum, I, I can uh, definitely bubblegum pop as opposed to say as in a genre bubblegum. We're like just, just imagining this. Please, no, ne- Carrie, never channel smile, BK, never, never, never. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I, I was sorry to any fans who maybe watching this who like Smiley K. I don't know who that insults more. <laughs> well, about, so, sorry, I've, got sorry. Il- I've got 11 subscribers, so it's not like. If two, I'm honestly surprised if two of them are listening to Smiley K, probably, but. <laughs> well, let's see, let's see. Are you subscribed? I don't think I have. I think I have. Okay. You're subscribed. So, like, I. I mean, the good thing I'm not subscribed is me that some other random is following us. Mm. Yeah. Someone has been working on us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just rather depressing, but. I won't make the vote, on all. Don't forget to take a pen, a pen with you to the voting booth. <laughs> You're coming to the subscription on YouTube. <laughs> Otherwise, we will talk about more Weaver songs that you don't like. And then say you voted for it. A ready pipe. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I was oh. saying saying during the the uh, during the performance of Candy Candy, but it was quite literally bubblegum pop. That's pretty much exactly about bubblegum. Yeah. And a lot of jumping. I was jumping. Yeah. I think Candy Candy was. But it's still like, unclear if it's Gandhi, Gandhi. Gandhi. Gandhi, Gandhi. I'm just imagining it soundtracking that Gandhi 2. I know it's about trying to soundtrack every show. single game of Civil Edition. Sweetie, so I think Gandhi is a sweetie in girl's love or something. I'm chewing, chewing. Chewing. Oh, I'm actually chewing Gandhi. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing the tour. I'm like, it's kind of leathery, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. Take me to the candy store. Take me to the candy shop. Oh, God. Don't even finish that. You realize that there was some what we got a good non violent protest that really hits the spot. Whoa. (laughs) You realize all of this? I'm not editing out any of this. That's fine. That's partly what we're doing. We're just running your, your channel. And I swear to you, you had to be a Londoner for a day. There was two of you here, that's so. Huh? London. Technically, I'm wannabe London. <laughs> You're still kind of London. Essex is a whole, as a whole is kind of wannabe London, right? No, it's, it's not. It's pretty much counted. Whereas, it's, I am honorary London. Honorary London. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I am very definitely a local, so it's. Well, it's a little bit out of one. Uh, I think well, it was... I'm in the great. It's, it's a really confusing case because it's sort of like technically I'm in Surrey, but at the same time. Like, so when they decide to you know, put, build a wall by London and make it the same country, where they can put the wall? Cheswick. Cheswick. I don't know. <laughs> we, you should just have the, um, the entrance offices just in Cheswick and the Red just so that we have to wait when you have anything to declare. Yeah, the office is just midway through a roller coaster. <laughs> like, is that anything to declare? Whoosh! No, 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 it would be the concern. All the cocaine just flies up as you sort of go to the empty loop and just it comes down looking like you. No, no, like no, you no, 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 you've got it wrong. You'd be the concession stand to be doing it, so they'd offer you a free drinks cup after you've declared something. Oh, I'll just offer you a free drinks cup after taking cocaine. <laughs> Oh, there's a couple. <laughs> but, um. He's the candy fucking man. I thought. What well, candy candy is about? Uh, like last time, like last time, Carrie Ann read a little message in English for us, and it was very cute. It was very cute. Oh, well, I couldn't understand part of it. But well, just better than what I She had actually more stuff. I don't even speak Japanese, and she made more sense in Japanese. Yes, but uh, she does seem to be slowly getting better at English, because I just don't understand half of it. She did seem to hesitate when she read, it, It's my first time in London, and she's like, Wait a sec. I thought you'd be like, wait a second, this is, no. <laughs> she was late to correct herself by going, force 
Yeah. Someone was like, oh, huh? Yes. But yeah, yeah, I think I think she's like, they're just uh, simultaneously she both see Evans and the dancers and they're on the other side. What? What? <laughs> Hold on. It was it was it was sort of an imperceptible second. It was like it was like the Fight Club second. You don't notice it happens, but it happens. Yeah. yeah. The other the other sort of real amusing moment I think of the night was when um, uh, she was trying to sort of get which song was it? Like um, you know, she was trying to get everyone sort of worked up and sort of chatting, and every the crowd was just saying, I didn't really know what they was doing at the start. Yeah. And and then, all this well, right. that's going to happen. Well, probably through, we started, everyone just started doing this, and like, she, oh, yeah, she didn't yeah. expect it, and she just seemed to sort of light up. Oh, yeah. what's that? What's that? Yeah. I don't know what's that. Um, there were a few that were like that. Well, she, yeah, she she it out out oh, she no, was, they started doing it during the intermission because they thought it was building up to a song, but it wasn't. I don't remember she. Yeah. But when she came back on, they just went whoop whoop to the car. I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. No, no, she, it was during the middle of the song. Yeah. They started off doing that, yeah, originally. Yeah. It, it was later. It was well, we thought that. that because she'd taken a shine to it earlier, maybe it was sort of back on stage, <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yeah. I mean, we, Pierce and I have gotten to the point where we're sort of like, yeah, there's going to be an encore. Come on. We're well, talk. I'd really. forgotten that last time she came out in the rabbit hood. Yeah. Well, it's oh my good goodness, I want the rabbit hood. In fact, I want to carry in a rabbit hood, to be honest, but I'll settle for just the hood if I really have to. She'll probably have cat ears or something. She's always come out with the rabbit hood. Did she have a bear today? Was it? I, I don't know. It's I kind of thought it was like a rabbit with very fat ears. Uh, that Whatever, it's, it's some kind She's of very strange fluffy animal. animal. There'll be a photo <laughs> of it, but I'll be... Yeah. I'll get the photos. Well, it's, just, it's just gonna be a really blurry picture. I'll just be like, da, 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 and the end is if I'm so carried, just so walking, blurry. What's the scene? It's just such <laughs> real off fake. Doctors, just so so I just hate this bear. I hope it's so many across the screen, just tucked up on either one. Yeah, it is a mystery. Will we will never know what strange animal walked across the stage. To be fair, it was something pink and furry, so it could have been a rabbit or a bear. It, it could have been a snuffleupagus, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would have been, yeah, I know this is coming that far anyway. So it's some, some anthropologists. Um, <laughs> you know, it's interesting because we, we, we have mentioned the word idol before in this, in this conversation, and. Um, I've had re- there have been interviews with her where I think she's said that she doesn't consider herself an idol. That's interesting. Um, but the thing is, it's, it's a bit of an odd one because personally, I'd say in a lot of ways she really is. But, but I mean, like there are limitations because, like, uh, I'd say because I'd say in a lot of ways her music is quite idolish. Mm. I think that it's very cutesy and very appealing in the way that idols tend to appeal. Um, you know. It, Costumes, the cutie dances, and you know the uh, cute little discussion with the audience, and, and I don't know there's just something about it that perhaps I don't have the right words to express. Um, but on the other hand, there are some clear things that are unidle about her, and that she, you know, she, unlike you know a lot of crazy idol things over in uh, in Japan, she's allowed to date and so on. Mm-hmm. So well, I, I guess I, 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 I'm sure there are a lot of things I could list off, but being um, I don't fall. All I can say is she's allowed to date, and she's allowed to date. <laughs> Incidentally, she's allowed to date whoever she wants, which is—I mean, I know that sounds just repetitive and stupid because it is, but it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, it's got, over the, for a bit of insight over. into how things have gone on with certain yeah. group, idol groups. There have been many scandals involving sort of. Idols dating and even even weird cases where it's not even they're not yeah. even technically idols like um, the voice actress for Harry. Oh, I don't know. Well, she is kind of. <laughs> they have kind of, voice actors do kind of. It does have an aspect in that. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's like um, a lot of idol stuff. I say a lot of scenes move into idling, but but. Um, but yeah, I, I imagine a bunch of people watching this probably already knew because mm. well, if you're looking for Carrie, well, you probably already know a bit about this kind of stuff. But none more. No, but yeah. um, it's it, it, if you don't know it, it's useful to have that bit of insight because it gives you 
an idea of how dramatically different yeah. Gary's stuff is to everything else. Well, I'm sure a lot of people probably saw that thing on the BBC a few years back when that AKB zero uh, AKB zero zero body. I've been watching watching my girl cartoons again. <laughs> um, AKB forty eight. You know, she was uh, quite out having a play with or something like that. She, well, she was just seen leaving a man's house. Seen leaving a man's house. Well, well, had to well, shave her head. To be fair, AKB forty eight is nefarious. But I have so many catchy songs, but it's evil. I don't. Shut up. <laughs> so, and I never said they were good, I just said they were catchy. Keep digging. I've only got beginner. Beginner is not worth doing it. Like, not recognizing the bass. Keep on, keep on biting, please. <laughs> it's not really taking the bait. Oh. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Why oh, am I taking it right now? Where, whose bait is it anyway? I don't remember <laughs> them. <laughs> we're all fools now. Yeah, I like, oh. Lauren's the only one who was safe because she had the smart move not to say anything. <laughs> I don't like the lace. I can see. Let's not go down that path. No. Probably our place is just sitting with three burly dudes who are actually more uh, than anything else. Speak for yourself! What are you doing? Just a skeleton. <laughs> It is, it's like ridiculous. It's like a river. I'm not fat, I'm just I'm just thick. He's not fat, he's just bones. Like pure bones. Thick, like Nozomi from One Live. <laughs> Nozomi is pretty thick. Thick. And adorable. It's spelled with a double C. Thick. What the where does the thick even come from? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know, it just it just has a sound to it. <laughs> like as music as as people who know about music, you should be you should Grasp there's a sort of certain aspect of pronunciation. Well, I'm going kind of like, an impression. I'm going to get something. I'm going to kind of like chic. It's kind of like chic. It's kind of like think about the comic books, right? There's like a, a sound like it can be like a shark, like the sound of a, like the sound of a shark marching through someone's dog. <laughs> <through their legs. laughs> and then there's a thick. Which sounds it sounds like trying to open a jar. It sounds like sticking a, a knife into a jar of peanut butter. You know, Richard. Richard, all I have to say. All I have to say to these concepts of pronunciation and onomatopoeia and everything is this. I say plur! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I can do it. <laughs> and that went all the way I said plur! <laughs> what time is it? Time to go watch. It's all over now. Anyway, we should probably. Um, it was cute as hell. Yeah. It was very good. It was cute. Good it was again. Catchy, and I feel like I've been looking at losing to the front for a Wood acid trip again. And she actually falls into the um, category of few singers I've actually seen more than once. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, same with me, actually. Have yeah, you seen two concerts? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically three. three. Two. Oh, oh, I guess that, uh, uh, that one at Haifa was three meshed in for one. And I went to Van Morrison. Yeah, that counts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently, Van Morrison counts more than the Island Ship fans. It was an open air concert, and halfway through the end of the last yeah, song, it's he only, decided it's only a concert, concert if you can trap it. But it just gave on in the middle of a song. Yeah, it's, 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 so like, it's only a concert if you can trap the essence within a hall and contain it, its spirit. <laughs> What's like that festival? Well, it's like a spirit. It's like <laughs> Lemmy Goo Goo Day Australia to make a spirit bomb. I mean, like, except. In reality, let's be honest, if you let go of that energy, it would just fly away into the stratosphere. It only counts if Can you hit him for me, please? No! <laughs> just because I'm being more insightful than either of you. Stop it! Look at the Aussie! Please, consider what you guys are telling me about that. Yeah. Is that the right thing to do right now? As in what? As in, I'm pretty sure you'll remember when you rewatch this video. <laughs> But by the time we got to this stage of the video, we already forgot what happened earlier in the video. Exactly. <laughs> I know, I have confessed. I have faith. I can see our treasures filled with hate, and I'm hoping that whatever million, brilliant, like, com commenters, viewers, I will, I will pull them. Uh, they, they will all see and know. Like, come to a house and pull you out your window. Defenestration. Defenestration. <laughs> um, um, you said that wrong. It's DEFENESTRATION! <laughs> good luck. You wouldn't be able to find which house is 
Why the water's under water? So yeah. It says that. Oh, it's secret busted fan. There's not much has changed. What? What? I just said I'm just gonna bang your great 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 granddaughter. What the fuck are you on about? Bad bad high bad middle school. What in God's name are you blathering about? Oh come on. I wasn't completely lost one. Well, yeah, clearly I just need more of that. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> You're the master of boy bands. I would like to learn about the idol master side end. For truly professional idol tag reasons. Hey, what do you call your idols? Perfect your boys. Everybody! Not enough. <laughs> and, then, and there was that rejoicing at the door. I still have that Mm. Do you feel like I bought their album from work to get it out of the hole? I didn't have to buy it, I already had it. It was a quid. Oh, okay. <laughs> one was brand new. Anyway. First run. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, um. So, you would have been a child, which means you having crap dressing music is acceptable. <laughs> I grew up on Metallica, Megadeth, Motorhead, and. So, this was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, when was Saint Tango released? See, the reason I remember this. 2003, right? I don't know. It was 2003. I can't remember it. I was listening to Metallica when I was six. So. I was listening to Eminem when I was six. And you see, the reason. <laughs> my dad, I'll come listen to The reason I was five is because my dad didn't really listen to music much when I was around. And, you know, he had a huge shelf of stuff. And, well, besides that, most, most of what I. Most of what people getting up in end of term talent shows and doing S Club 7 mm. dances. And I mean the same song over and over again, I play a different dance, a bunch of other popular kids. So um you can't I don't know if I can really be entirely blamed for my shit taste when I've been deprived for so long. I've I just at first I just got you it wasn't for me, it just was good. It wasn't good. Because if that's all there is do you know anyone just uh, implying the fact that Denver is music. It's better music than we had back in middle school, there, at the very least. But anyway, because <laughs> uh, time is rolling on and I'm going to need to rush to the station so I don't get locked out and all yeah. that sort of thing. Um, hopefully, the underground Golly. trains are still running at this time. They should be. Okay. It's on the camp, well, so I can't believe they're running at like past midnight. Yeah, some of the most other places would be still running. In fact, when I'm pretty sure I come back from the concert before like half eleven, quarter twelve, they'd be running fine. Fair dues. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, very fun concert. Um, anything else you guys have to add? One of the girls this time. Yeah, it was. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure, but I don't necessarily know if I agree. <laughs> oh no, sorry, Chloe. Uh, one thing I will just a couple of things I will just briefly touch upon. Um, first is a request to make for future gigs of bands who might come across this video. I don't know, um, but please do not use bright white lights, any lighting, any colours, just not bright white because it's lost in my eyes and I cannot see. It was like a band of Pokemon episode. If you're going to do a request about bands coming across the video, then. Come to the UK, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's Lee Lindsay Sterling. Please, if you see this episode, come to the UK, please. I need my violin signed by you. Before three minutes ends. Can't bring one. Watch him twice. Who? Can't bring one. And Devin Townsend. Come back again. Yeah. We love you. And while we're at a homemade episode. Acrobats, please. Acrobats would be fantastic. Yeah. I'm sure. If you're a band, come here. Yeah. We don't like you, we'll ignore you. We like you, we'll see you. That incentive feels a slight bit off somehow. <laughs> well, look at, look at it this way. Any bands who come here, anyone who likes them, who goes to their concerts, it puts more money into the economy. I so swear we're just repeating the field of dreams now. <laughs> yeah. If you build it, we'll come. But anyway, and then we have tons of music venues, and most of them are really, really easy to get into, apparently, because yeah. the bands don't actually come over here. Yeah. So, 
Okay. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah, lots of fun. Definitely, if if you happen to see that Kerry is performing in your area, or if you're a Londoner, or even internationally, just go see her wherever you may be. This one. Near far wherever you may be. Well then, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the second That's thing cool. is that um, there was actually at one point a string of three songs that ran into each other oh, seamlessly, and it was amazing because it was all, it was one of those. Oh, I didn't expect it to go there. There was some very nice remixing and, and uh, sort of mashing together. Yeah. A little went into pop up and then into. I think it was. I think it was. Yeah, yeah it was. Mm. And it was a very seamless flowing into each other. Well, I mean, Yusuke and I had a big to be like someone who was. Uh, well, I know Carrie herself has a background in DJing before she became. That is funny. Yeah. yeah. We had a background in DJing and fashion, which kind of explains exactly mm-hmm. where she is right now. Yeah. Why, golly gee, I could have guessed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think that's kind of exhausted what we have to say. We kind of said a bit too much about the concert on our way home. Well, and I was exhausted to begin with. Yeah, but yeah, definitely go see her and... Got a lot of energy at this one time, for sure. Yeah. Um, so that's goodbye from me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> <laughs>